Hey everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery. I wanted to share with you my adventure in raising mealworms. Mealworms are such a wonderful treat for your chickens, so I wanted to learn how to raise them myself. And here's my adventure. I started with six drawers. Each of my plastic units has three drawers in each of them. And I cut the bottom out of two of the drawers, replacing this with small whole plastic canvas. I also cut some plastic canvas pieces to put on top of the drawers to keep our little friends inside. The plastic units with the drawers went into a larger plastic container with a towel on top of it. We learned early on sometimes the mealworms can escape their drawers. Also keeping them in the larger tote allows for the mealworms to be kept warm. They like warmer temperatures like 60 to 70 degrees and this is going to help your cycle go faster. You don't want to raise them outside or in a garage where it's cold. Each drawer has a function. Drawer 1, with the bottom removed, is for beetles. Drawer 2 collected the eggs from the beetles. Drawer 3 is kindergarten, or where the baby mealworms go. Drawer 4 is for your medium-sized mealworms. Drawer 5 is where the larger mealworms are, and that also has the cutout on the bottom of that drawer. Drawer 6 is actually the collection for the mealworm castings or the mealworm poop, which is excellent for your garden. I started with about 500 mealworms, and that was way too many for my setup. So if you'd like a smaller setup like mine, I would suggest 1 to 200 medium to large mealworms. You can purchase these from many suppliers. I've added my link below. In the drawers that held the small, medium, and large mealworms, as well as the beetle drawer, I used just plain oats for their bedding. For the drawer that collects the mealworm eggs, I used the cornmeal. In the drawer that holds your beetles, you also want to take a paper or a toilet paper roll and cut it in half, and that gives the beetles a place to hide. They like to hide underneath there. I cleaned my whole setup about every two weeks. That could be a lot, but I wanted to make sure that my beetles and my mealworms were nice and healthy. Your mealworms don't eat much at all, but you want to provide them something that's going to give them moisture. Apples, carrots, and potato pieces work wonderful. The apple pieces need to be changed out more quickly because they can mold faster. So many people prefer carrots because they don't mold as quickly. In the drawer where your largest mealworms are, you're going to notice after some time that they're going to change to pupas and they look like this. After they've changed to pupas, you're going to move those to the beetle drawer where they're going to emerge as darkling beetles in one to three week span. The mealworm eggs in the egg drawer, so they're going to drop through into that egg drawer, can take one to four weeks to hatch, so you have to remember to be patient. I watched my mealworm farm for about two months, and it took about that time to get a full cycle. So you're constantly moving your mealworms from drawer to drawer. So you have your drawer with your eggs. Once they hatch, they go into the small mealworm drawer. And when they get to a medium size, they go into the medium size drawer. And this kind of goes with your cleaning cycle. Then you'll have your drawer that has your large size beetles or your large size mealworms, and you'll work from there. So you got to remember, if you're going to do this on your own, you need to give yourself a few months to get yourself fully established. It's a basic setup again. Mealworm, pupa, beetles, eggs, and more mealworms. After you have fully established, so after you get through one cycle, you can start giving some mealworms to your chickens. And you're going to use the drawer with the largest mealworms. You're going to allow half of that drawer to go to pupa to turn into beetles to keep your cycle going, and then you can feed the other half to your chickens, and they're going to love those mealworms. Raising mealworms is such a wonderfully interesting adventure. Uh, I was a little bit of trial and error, but I really like it. My chickens love it too. They love the treat, and after my initial setup, they're actually really easy to take care of. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any other questions, make sure to visit us at MeyerHatchery.com.